Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be a quick and dirty video on how to install a Collins coping foot on this DeWalt barrel grip jigsaw. I've had a number of guys message me on Instagram or via YouTube that they've had trouble installing this on the jigsaw. For me, it was super easy. It only took about a minute, but I understand some people might have had issues, so that's why I'm making this video. If you want the review on this, tool. Um, I have a video that I did on coping with it. You can check that out. Uh, it's one of my most popular videos. Uh, should be pretty easy to find and I'll try and link it in the notes below this video. But anyways, I'm going to get right into this. Now, obviously, whenever you get this jigsaw, it's going to come with the flat base and everything. I don't have one set up like that right now, so I'm just going to take this one apart and you'll see what pieces I have installed on this. That way you know what you need to use with this jigsaw. You see a Phillips head screw right here. The hardest part of this, I remember, was there's a nut down in underneath here. Holding that nut secure is probably the hardest part of getting the whole thing together. But I'm gonna disassemble this. That way you can see what I've got on here. So I'm gonna start just by unscrewing this. Maybe. See right now, I'm just spinning that nut under there. So I'm gonna grab a screwdriver. And I'm gonna just uh, use the screwdriver to hold that nut from spinning. That way I can get this undone. All right, so there is my nut. Here I have this screw and washer. I'm not sure if this came with the Collins coping foot or the DeWalt um, flat base. You'll have to figure that out for yourself. Here is my Collins coping foot. And then I have one of the shims on this, okay? So pretty simple, that's all there is to it. All you need is the coping foot, this shim, whatever that is, and you are just going to take it, put it on top right there. You're gonna drop your screw through. And again, getting this nut installed is gonna be the hardest part. So I'm gonna grab a wrench um, that will hold this nut. Okay, this is a 7 16 wrench. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of back that Phillips screw back out. And I'm gonna see if I can slide that right in there. Oh wait, that ain't gonna work. Plan B. Now in theory that would have worked, I just wouldn't have been able to get my wrench back out. So let's try this instead. And I remember this being the tricky part last time whenever I did this. But I did it, it only took a minute or so. So we'll see what uh, I can pull off this time. All right, I'm just, it's all coming back to me now. I actually just grabbed my little Wea magnetizer. So I'm gonna run my wrench through there a little bit. And that should at least do nothing. Got a little bit, but not much. All right, next idea. Seriously, the first time I did this, I got it like within a minute. I'll take a little 2P10, got my I got my nut right here and I just want to hold it in place a little tiny bit so that I can position it and then pull it back out. Okay, so now I've got my nut. My nut is in the wrench with a dab of 2P10 so that it won't fall out. Okay, round two. 
So I am going to put my shim on the bottom like so. I'm gonna position the coping foot like so. Now I'm gonna take my nut. I'm gonna get it right underneath there where it needs to be. I'm gonna take my screw, go through there. And the hardest part is just getting it started. There we go. She is threaded on. Tighten it up. Wonderful. That worked like a charm. The wrench slipped right out. Now I'm going to position this nice and tight up to the blade. Not too close, but just, oh no. Okay, my nut's spinning. I thought it fell off for a second. Tighten that up. You want it to uh, be close to the blade, but not so close that you're hitting the coping foot. And I think I'm a little bit too close right there. So I'm gonna back this up just a little bit, give it a little more space. And that's how it's done. So there you go. All right, so there you go, reinstalled. Works good. Orbit, no orbit, it's not hitting anything. Um, again, hope this helps out all you guys who had messaged me having trouble getting this installed. It's not too hard. And um, if you wanna help support the channel, you can buy the tool or the coping foot via the links in the notes below. And uh, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you next time, thanks.